In this video, we're going to talk about getting both your picking hand and your fretting hand working together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start combining both hands together. So by now you've been working on the picking hand with the tremolo picking, getting that a bit faster and then you've been working on the fretting hand, getting those hammer-ons and pull-offs much more reliable, or at least you should have been, alright? If you haven't been, I want to know why, I need a good reason why you haven't been doing your homework and you cannot say that your dog ate it, alright? So what I want you to do is you're going to pick a really simple repeating 16th note shape. This is probably the best one there is, one of my favourites. Um, this one, right there. I'm just doing it on the G string, it doesn't matter where you do it, but I'm doing it on the 12th, 10th, 9th frets, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm starting with the highest note leading, and the reason I do this is because it's much easier to keep in time, because when you start getting faster, that note played by the pinky there, you can always time that with the one, with the first beat, with the metronome. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. If you do it the other way and you try and do it, lead it with the index finger, it's much harder to keep that as an accent because it's always fretted. You're not really doing anything with that. Whereas you always have to keep putting the index finger on to the fretboard, so that really helps you uh, keep in sync with the metronome. Now, when you start doing this, if you find that your hand synchronization isn't as good as you want it to be or it's falling apart, it's probably because the fretting hand isn't as controlled as you think it is. So this is where you need to go back to step two and then get working on those hammers and pulls again. So this shape, for example, is using the pinky, the second and the index, right? So, so that's where you would work on the that shape and get the strength happening in those fingers so then you can start doing stuff like this reliably. And as you get better at this you can apply it to all the other shapes so we've done this one, you can do it to this one, then this one, and then you can start doing it to uh, triplets and things like that. And this is all stuff you can just be doing on one string. Notice that we haven't crossed any strings yet, and yet most people skip ahead of this stuff. Most people don't even do this stuff, and yet wonder why they can't pick across strings. This is why. If you haven't even got the synchronization between your picking hand and your fretting hand at this stage, and you're not even able to build up speed beyond a mediocre tempo, then either your picking is too slow, which in which case you haven't done the tremolo picking I talked about, or your fretting hand is too slow, in which case you haven't done any of those hammers and pulls which I talked about, okay? So now you can see why this stuff stops you getting the speed you want. Right, that's enough for now. I will see you next week for the next episode. See you then.